After the birth of democracy in 17th century in England, there was a wave of political changes across the world. Monarchy and dictatorships were overthrown and an urge to establish the common people's rule was born. Europe and America went through great revolutions during the 18th and 19th century to bring about this. Asia and Africa also set sail towards democracy in the 20th century. India, Sri Lanka and South Africa were able to set stable democratic governments after gaining independence. There are two other forms of government also prevalent in the world. Communism. In this form of government, the government owns all property and shares it equally with everyone. Socialism. In this form of government, the government owns a few key industries or businesses and distributes those resources equally. Socialism is the form of government that was adopted by Russia in 1917 and China in 1949 but did not allow the workers to control private industry as they claimed. The government itself controlled all private enterprises and controlled the economy. Recently, the Chinese economy has become more geared towards capitalism but is still officially socialist. Some of the so-called socialist countries are China, Cuba, Laos and Vietnam. So, you see how important is democracy for a country? In a democratic country, people have right to express their opinion, live freely and vote. True democracy is about giving everyone equal opportunities through elections. People can have a say in the government by choosing their representatives who participate in the decision making of the government. In countries like Pakistan, military rule and democracy keep coming in cycles. Children, I hope you liked today's session on democracy. Tomorrow, we are going to learn a new lesson. Goodbye for now.